Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozori, Evinrude, Lamaglass, the Marina at Carteret Park, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. Bird play reported off the beaches of Sea Isle earlier this week. Video courtesy of the folks at Sea Isle Bait and Tackle. Perhaps that filthy little groundhog was right. An early spring on the horizon. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. The white perch bite throughout South Jersey, throughout all of New Jersey, is still red hot right now. In fact, my friend Pedro was out getting it done with the white perch recently. I figured I'd try to nose around, figure out exactly where it was that Pedro was having some success with short stripers and those perch somewhere along the Mullica complex. A lot of throwback stripers in the mix for a lot of folks worming in the back for those white perch. A real good sign for the March 1st opener. We're only a little over a week away until that back bay striper fishery opens up. Now, checking in with some folks uh, this week, did find out that there are still a few hardy souls giving it a go on the front beaches and still having a little pick of those striped bass out front, like my friend Nick here back in the fall. So there are definitely a couple of options until March 1st, but next Sunday, March 1st, is when New Jersey anglers have that back bay fishery open for, uh, for striped bass. You know what I'm talking about, along the Mullica, Bass River, Tom's River, Raritan, along the Bay Shore, down on the Great Egg, even Delaware Bay as well. I'd love to be giving the perching a shot this weekend, but um, I can't. I've got that three-day Philadelphia fishing show at Oaks PA this weekend. Can't wait for that. It's a great event, second annual event. Uh, of course, we're hosting all the seminars out there. If you want to come talk stripers, join us at the Philly Fishing Show in Oaks, PA, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Of course, all the talk in the region has been about striped bass for the last several months. It all got wrapped up this past Thursday. I hope you saw that alert. Uh, we posted that article on Friday morning. But final decision at a packed house just uh, up the road here in Mount Hawk, and 118 attendees were allowed into that room, but it was overfilled. Uh, in fact, uh, the state started um, talking to people. They opened up the doors, allowed anybody that was standing in the hall or standing outside to have an opportunity to speak on those striped bass options. But they were pretty much pared down after all the public comment over the last six months. Finally, we have the limits for 2020. One fish at 28 to just less than 38 inches in New Jersey in 2020 and beyond. Of course, we also have the striped bass bonus program again in the state of New Jersey. That's gonna open up May 15th this year. For you folks that register and get one of those tags, you'll get one tag for one fish at 24 to less than 28 inches. Now, I attended the November 7th meeting of the New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council. It wasn't as packed as, as this one, but they were sharing with us uh, some of the slides uh, you know, they had, of course, three public hearings in New Jersey on striped bass back in the fall, which is more than any of the other states. 150 attendees, 29 public comments, and 50 follow-up comments. Now, I would advise you just to keep in mind that 150,000 registered anglers as of last June 2019 also received an electronic survey from the state of New Jersey, uh, and they had a 16% response rate. In response to the striped bass bonus program, because I know a lot of people are, are talking about that bonus program and whether or not to suspend it, but those online comments that came from those registered anglers who responded, roughly 40% of the folks who responded to the survey wanted to do away with the bonus program entirely in 2020 here in New Jersey to account for some of the downtrend in the spawning stock biomass. Um, but I'll tell you, 25% of those people wanted a small slot Another 20% wanted a medium slot, just shy of 15% wanted a bigger trophy. No big trophies this year. Uh, the whole ASMFC concept is to reduce pressure on that spawning stock biomass. So 60-40, 50-50, there are a lot of differing opinions on what to do with that commercial quota that's unused in the state of New Jersey. I will remind you, New Jersey anglers tagged 5,382 striped bass in that striped bass bonus program in New Jersey. That's roughly 31,000 pounds of fish out of a more than 200,000 pound commercial quota. So again, that's the uh, status of the striped bass regulations. The next scheduled meeting of the New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council is Thursday, March 5th, 5 p.m. That meeting will also be held in Stafford Township, 260 East Bay Avenue in Manahawk. And perhaps if more attendees 
uh, start showing up for these regular Marine Fisheries Council meetings, the state will have uh, no alternative but to find a larger venue. Just real quick, what I found out too at the New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council meeting last week, the fluke season here in New Jersey will start on May 22nd, same size and bag as last year. Um, Bluefish, of course, is going to three fish for private anglers, five for those of you on a for hire vessel, no change in porgy, tog, or black sea bass. The circle hook requirement that everybody's talking about, that's gonna kick in sometime in 2021. ASMFC mandates by April 1st of next year. That's all natural baits, chunk, bunker, live bunker, herring, bloodworms, clams. It's not artificial lures. Um, but a couple of folks have asked me about hooking up baits with a circle hook. I'd recommend you go over to my friend Dean's site at ultimatebaitbridle.com. Uh, start tinkering around with those uh, bait bridles for your big bunker, uh, live line and bunker this spring when that bunker run kicks off. Now as for the weekend ahead, we've had some mild temperatures this week. They are expected to continue through Saturday and Sunday. The NOAA Marine forecast midweek looks very fishable for those offshore waters if you're looking to get out. And again, temperatures expected to be around 50 degrees on Saturday and Sunday. So it's a great weekend to get out. Out of the Manasquan, boats like the Norma K, Dauntless, Jamaica 2, they're sailing. Uh, good cod caught on the Jamaica 2 in the last several days, as a matter of fact. And also, down in Cape May, not a lot of boats running, but I do know the Cape May lady has been getting out, has some uh, tog in the teen size class, uh, and also uh, this past weekend reported a 19 and a half pounder, a monster, as you might hear on that video, barely fit in the net. Of course, you also have those freshwater options as well, lots of open water throughout the region. Ed Guth Jr., he's already well on his way working on that 2020 Skillful Angler Awards program. He's been finding some crappie. Uh, in between some of the largemouth and pickerel he's gunning for down in South Jersey on those open waters. Again, a lot of freshwater options with all these waters open up. Trout, pickerel, walleye on the Delaware, and of course out in the Poconos, where we get our report from my friend George, the Pocono Outdoors guy. Well, hey, thanks, Jim. You know, that cold snap over last weekend gave guys up north, well, a couple days of fishable ice, but temperatures back in the 40s and 50s, and that ice is history. So I think we can pretty much uh, look at this year's ice fishing season in the rearview mirror. But there's still a lot going on. Yeah, those guys are still out hitting that open water. Uh, Justin Lerner here was out hitting the, the river, got himself into a couple really nice browns and some trout. Uh, it's a rainbow trout, so that bite is still on fire but remember guys you only have until the uh, end of the month and the season's going to close down so they can start their stocking program when the season opens back up in april we'll, we'll keep you updated on that as well now there's been a lot of talk about the upcoming shad season with the warm weather everybody thinks are the shad going to run early well we won't know till they get here but i was talking with john augustine over at hardcore shad fishing and he's getting confirmed reports of shad in north carolina and some unconfirmed reports in virginia so the schools are definitely heading north. We're going to keep an ear to the ground to keep you guys updated on the annual shad run. Should be a good time this year. But that's going to wrap it up for this week. From Pennsylvania, I'm George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. You know, George has a great seminar on Friday in Oaks, PA at that Philadelphia fishing show about fishing for those true strain striped bass in Beltsville and throughout the the Poconos. In fact, we've got more than 40 seminars being presented Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Oaks, PA. It's presented by the Fisherman Magazine, a three-day event, 40 seminars. That'll keep you busy. Good mix, too, of both fresh and salt. Three different rooms. One, one room is just dedicated to freshwater fishing, so you can find that entire seminar lineup by visiting thefisherman.com or going directly to phillyfishingshow.com. Now, you also have Surf Day this Saturday. That's at Brookdale Community College, Jersey Shore Surfcasters annual event. Keynote speaker, my friend Crazy Alberto Knee is in town giving a presentation there at Surf Day. That is this Saturday. The Fisherman Magazine will be there. Uh, we, we're, we're at both shows. Uh, look for Tom Melton there at Brookdale. We uh, just opened up a brand new box of Savage Baits for these weekend shows. And I'll tell you what, you pluggers are going to love it, both in Philly and at the Surf Day. Now, all also happening this weekend in Point Pleasant, you have the 25th Annual Fishing Flea Market and Collectible Show. That's at the Antrim School, presented by the fire folks there, the fire department. That show is going to be held from 8.30 a.m. 
until 2.30 p.m. Now next week, of course, not far south of here, we will be at the Atlantic City Boat Show, which is open Wednesday through Sunday. A big event, plenty of seminars going on there. If you want discount ticket prices, look for the link in this week's email newsletter. All right, you get that newsletter out um, every Thursday where this video is embedded. Look for that link, you click onto it, you get a $14.45 admission instead of the regular $17. That's care of the folks from the Recreational Fishing Alliance. And yes, the RFA will be there. The Fisherman Magazine, again, will be at both booths. Two booths, one at the beginning of the, the, uh, the marketplace and one out back near the seminars. I do have some news too that Roxanne from Gray Fish Tags is going to join us this weekend. I think Friday, Saturday, maybe part of Sunday. So if you want to come out and talk about that striped bass tag program that we've got, the Northeast Striper Study, come on out and talk to us. Uh, meet Roxanne and have all your questions answered. Get in on the action. I'll tell you what, just another week. This water is going to be boiling with those back bay stripers hitting bloodworms. I can't wait. Catch them up. We'll see you in Oaks. And then we'll also see you again next week right here at thefisherman.com. The Fisherman is now on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, and Android TV. So now you can watch this broadcast and our other content on the big screen. Just search for The Fisherman TV on any of those devices.